To adjust brightness on your Acer monitor, you'll use the on-screen display or OSD menu. This is the primary method for controlling monitor settings directly from the device itself. First, locate the physical buttons on your monitor. These are typically found on the front, bottom bezel, side, or back of the monitor. Look for a menu button or a round wheel button. Press the menu button to access the OSD. Some models use a round wheel button. In that case, press it twice. The OSD menu will appear on your screen. Navigate to the picture or display menu using the navigation buttons. On some models, you might need to go to color first. Use the arrow keys or navigation buttons to highlight your selection. Look for brightness or sometimes backlight in the picture menu. Use the navigation buttons to increase or decrease the brightness level. You'll see the changes in real time on your screen. Press the menu or enter button to confirm your changes. Navigate to exit or press the menu button repeatedly to exit the OSD menu. Your brightness settings are now saved and will remain until you change them again. Understanding the difference between brightness and gamma is crucial for optimal monitor viewing. These two settings control different aspects of your display. Brightness should be adjusted based on your room lighting conditions. Higher brightness works best in well-lit rooms, while lower brightness is better for dark environments. For gaming, experts recommend specific brightness and contrast levels based on your room lighting. These settings help optimize visibility and reduce eye strain during extended gaming sessions. Remember that you can also adjust brightness through your computer's display settings in Windows or Mac OS. However, be aware that these settings might interact with your monitor's OSD settings. To protect your eyes during extended monitor use, follow these important tips. Take regular breaks, blink frequently, and adjust your monitor position to avoid awkward viewing angles. If you encounter brightness adjustment issues, check these common solutions. Ensure proper connections, verify the power switch is on, check video cables are secure, reset monitor settings via OSD, and keep graphics drivers updated.